Hey girl, hey! My name is Mimi and I'm back with another reaction video for you guys today. Now, if you like to watch and discuss the ratchetness in these YouTube streets, then sit back, grab your Stella Rosa, your Taylor Port, your Mad Dog 2020, and let's get comfy. Remember, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Now, let's get into this. I am back I'm trying to do multiple videos so this video is gonna be about Liv's life in the mall situation uh, so basically Liv's life came she took her kids I guess it was her week to have the kids and so she took her kids to the mall um, and then she ran into Gerard and Tanisha and Tanisha's sister I guess and Tanisha's sister ran up on Olivia and uh, basically got in her face and told her to do something. So now Olivia has gone live and she's gonna, you know, get into that Karen role. At first she was acting all Billy Badass, trying to say like the girl wasn't gonna do nothing and you know, I mean, she had been telling the girl to pull up for how long? The girl, I mean, you keep asking for somebody to pull up, they gonna actually pull up on your ass. So, I don't know why you were surprised. Uh, I'm surprised she didn't just go ahead and beat your ass. But I know she wanted to really, really bad. Because, I mean, I think I would want to see that really, really bad. It's sad the children had to be present while all this was going on. But sometimes you gotta just take that opportunity to be jam. And I'm sure Gerard and Antonisha would have bonded her out if she would have went to jail. But so now, Liv, she has filed a restraining order on Gerard, which I'm just like, well, why are you filing a restraining order on Gerard? Gerard didn't run up on you. It was Antonisha's sister. That's who you need to be putting the restraining order on. And so I don't really know much about the legal system like that. Um, I'm trying to educate myself more on that. Um, but I'm thinking a judge is gonna look at it like, yeah, it was a bad situation, but Gerard has no control over what Antonisha's sister did. You know, you can't, she can't, he, he wasn't holding a girl up on the leash, you know, and Liv talking about they was laughing. Yeah, it was funny because Liv, you talk so much shit to these folks. Talking about pull up, pull up, pull up. And then when somebody found did pull up, it's like, I mean, if I was them, I would have let her did whatever too. You know, them kids all right. And them kids ain't dainty and all scary. I done heard, um, what her name, Robin. I done heard her talk. She, she kind of, her boy's kind of raspy. You, when she was at that engagement party, she was like, don't nobody play with Antonisha. I'm like, oh. She just strike me as somebody that's gonna be kind of rough and tough, that little girl. Now, I don't know about the other two, uh, Christian and Ryan. Did I say Ryan or Robin? Shoot, I get them all mixed up. But, yeah, I, I don't think those kids are traumatized like that because I'm sure they've been around Antonisha's sister and Antonisha's sister loved those kids, just like Antonisha loved those kids. They just don't love their mama because their mama talks so much shit about them. It's like, of course, if you talk about my sister, call my sister the maid, basically just calling her everything but a child of God. I mean, who could blame her? I don't know if condone violence, but sometimes some, some people just need their ass beat so they can just shut up. But... Yeah. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. I've been watching uh, a lot of react reaction videos, you know, just basically getting different views on what other people think. And it's like everybody I've interacted with on there, we kind of on the same page. So, you know, Liv, that's on you. Um, She's hoping that this restraining order situation will help her get her kids back, which 
I highly doubt because uh, Gerard has two attorneys. Liv, you don't have any. And that one incident, technically Gerard didn't do anything. So I don't know who told you to put a restraining order because I'm sure you are not afraid of Gerard. Gerard ain't gonna do nothing to you. Um, now I can't say that Antonisha's sister won't do anything. I know Antonisha and Gerard, they're not going to do anything to jeopardize Gerard's custody and all of that. So, I just think, I really think it's going to get thrown out because Gerard didn't run up or pull up. I think uh, you, if you was that scared, you would put the restraining order on the sister because that's who was the one that told you know got up in your face and apparently you said she uh pushed you so yeah i think you were scared and that's why you was gripping that stroller like you was trying to put a barrier between you and her but child that couldn't have been me because if she would have ran up on me i probably been fighting with the baby in the stroller because you know even though you talk your mess if you wasn't scared, you should have you should have did what you claimed that you would have did. You wouldn't be nobody else. Ooh, y'all, what you think? I'm not a I'm not a makeup professional makeup person, and as, as y'all can see, uh, just trying to look a little halfway decent up in Disney. I don't want to scare Mickey, Minnie, and all of them. Today is going to be pretty much a day. Uh, we're going to do Disney. I keep forgetting the name of it. Disney. Jerry, where we going? What's the place? City Walk. Is it City Walk? Yeah. Okay. Oh, y'all. I got dry skin. I have these little dry patches on my skin that I do not like. And this is what I use. I try to use this. It's like a SPF 30. And it's a moisturizer for, for your face. But, uh, yeah, I just, I think she deserved it. She did. Um, I don't think the kids deserve to be subjected to that behavior, but it was kind of like she had an opportunity and she took it. So I ain't even mad at her, but I think the only thing that's going to really hurt, I guess, that may hurt Gerard is that the kids were present when the girl ran up, but they can't say nothing about him running up on her because he didn't do it. So I'm wondering if they're going to pull that mall tape, you know, because they said they were in front of Santa Claus and all the kids were present or whatever, whatever. Uh, that'll be interesting. We just got to keep watching. Um, I really wish that Gerard would just have his own YouTube channel. I really have a feeling like Antonisha's folks or sister might make her a channel because I want to hear the other side. All we get to hear is Liv's side, which is the Karen side, and I want to hear the other side so I can determine for myself what's what, since y'all putting it out there. Y'all love to say it ain't nobody's business, but y'all keep making it people's business by, you know, putting it on the internet. So, yeah, we intrigued. It's like watching a soap opera. And now, Gerard, he, I feel like he has to, when he goes live, it's because he's fed up and he just tired and he this is just a whole bunch of bottled up stuff that he has um been holding in that's when gerard goes live so yeah all right oh i need to put my lips on so tell me what y'all think about this whole live gerard and antonisha's sister situation um down in the comments and by the way, y'all check out my vlogs. Um, I got, I think I need to put out my little mini Christmas, after Christmas vlog. And then I have, I'm going to have some Disney vlogs coming up real soon. So y'all make sure y'all check it out. Um, I'm about to go. We're going to get our day started. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.